They say cars are greener than motorcycles, and that bikes are actually the real air pollution villains. Adam decided to put that to the test. He rounded up cars and motorcycles from the 1980s through the 2000s. To get precise emission readings, they mounted sensors on each vehicle's exhaust pipe and engine. The plan was simple. Fire up the engines, hit the road, and record every puff of exhaust. The 20-mile route was 75% highway, 25% city streets. Once everything was ready, all six vehicles took off together. Half an hour later, they rolled back into the shop and crunched the numbers. Fuel-wise, motorcycles won easily. Every decade's models burned less gas than cars. That also meant they pumped out less CO2, since it's a direct byproduct of burning fuel. But the rest of the results were a shock. Hydrocarbons, linked to cancer and asthma, were more than eight times higher for motorcycles. Nitrogen oxides, responsible for acid rain, were 32 times higher. And carbon monoxide emissions, an eye-watering 80 times higher than cars. In short, bikes spewed far more harmful gases. Jamie wasn't ready to give up. If he could make a more fuel efficient motorcycle, maybe that would help. He designed a sleek aerodynamic fairing and ran the same 20-mile test on a closed track. After 30 minutes, the new design did use less fuel, cutting CO2 emissions as expected, but the levels of other harmful gases barely budged. Their conclusion? Automakers have poured decades of R&D into cleaning up cars, so they're now far cleaner and more efficient than they used to be. Motorcycles just haven't gotten the same investment. Technology has improved a little, but nowhere near as much. So yes, cars really are more eco-friendly than motorcycles.